All right, say you get a friend request from a boss or a manager. What do you do? Do you accept it? Do you just leave it hanging? Yeah, it's a, uh, I don't know. It's kind it's of a, a yeah, kind of a gray area. Or what if a manager starts liking or maybe even loving your posts on social media? Yeah, so more and more people I think are taking their real life relationships online, of course, but what is actually appropriate, especially in today's age, and especially if social media maybe is a part of your job. Mm -hmm. Eric Evans of the Desert News wrote on this, uh, wrote, wrote an article on this and t kind of tackling this issue uh, earlier this week, and she is with us today. She joins us now. All right, Erica, what problems would you say that people are having when it comes to uh, social media connections? Yeah, well, I think it's really difficult because the rules of engagement on social media are sort of unwritten. It's not like when you join Facebook, you get a guidebook of what's appropriate right. or what's going to be awkward or make someone uncomfortable or not. And I think a lot of people are finding that um, on social media, the lines between your professional life and your personal life can get blurred and it can lead to some uncomfortable situations. Right. And I, I know one of the stories that was mentioned was just the a new job boss starts following, you know, the new employee starts commenting, you know, on their post. Employee maybe doesn't think that she can do anything because I don't know. It's she, it, she, she just got the job. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think you definitely have to be careful if there's a power differential. If we're talking about a boss and a subordinate um, or a teacher and a student or a therapist and their patient, any kind of situation where there might be a difference in power, um, then you really got to be careful about how your interactions online are coming across because the way you intend it might not be the way it's received. You talked to an expert um, about kind of what you should do before these um, interactions come up. She talked mainly about, it sounded like, uh, having the conversation of what you do think is appropriate. What are some tips for people out there that might be in this very situation? Yeah, I mean, it might seem weird, but the easiest thing to do would be just to ask. If it's your coworker and you're like, are they gonna be weirded out if I follow them on Instagram? Just say, hey, do you use social media? Uh, can I add you? Or what social media do you use? What would be the best way to connect with you? And then that gives them an opportunity to say, um, oh, no, I keep you know, my social media private, mm -hmm. you know, if they don't want that. Um, so the best thing to do is just be upfront and ask them. Um, another thing you can do, once you're already connected with someone, if you're thinking, oh, should I comment on this or heart this or, um, you know, what should I do? If you attach a physical activity to that action in your head, like say liking something is like a high five and hearting something might be like a hug and commenting obviously would be just, you know, saying that thing to that person's face. If you think, um, you know, it would be really weird to high five my coworker 10 times in a row as I like, <laughs> like every single one of their posts or to give them a hug because I saw a picture of their dog. Yeah. Um, or, you know, it, it would be really awkward to say this in person, then you probably shouldn't do that online either. Mm. I like that. That's a great way to kind of approach it and just think before you like or comment, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know you spoke to some, uh, some employees, of course. What did you find? Because it seems like there's also a difference when it comes to the age of the employee and the boss. Right, yeah, I think that's another thing that you can factor in along with like a power differential would be an age differential or a gender differential, things that can, um, you know, add to um, awkwardness or make there be unnecessary tension. Um, and yeah, I think the people I talked to who were employees at different companies, they all had their own rules. Um, some people just had, you know, a blanket, no, I don't add any of my coworkers. Some people said, if I have an actual relationship with this coworker outside of work, like we hang out or we get dinner sometimes or we go on coffee breaks, um, then you would add them. Um, so everyone had their own rules for figuring that out. I feel like we're now going to have to reconsider our interactions online. Right. <laughs> They're yeah. appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it kind of, uh, I don't know, because usually it's, you know, professional life, your personal life, right. but then social media just kind of blends it all because yeah. people post about work, they post about their yeah. family, they post about, you know, whatever it might be. Yeah, so. well, LinkedIn also is an option if people just want to keep it professional. It sounds like, hey, just get a LinkedIn account mm -hmm. and interact there with coworkers. Yeah, each social media site also has sort of its own rules, unwritten rules mm -hmm. again. Like Facebook might be for more friends and family. Twitter might be more professional, but at the same time, people post really personal things on Twitter too. Right. And then LinkedIn obviously is very professional, so you have to navigate that as well. All right, Erica, thanks for helping us navigate through that. How can people get more information on your article and your reporting? Oh yeah, my article's on Deseret.com. Okay, perfect, Erica, thanks for joining us. Come Thank back, you. we've got, got some good stories, we appreciate it.